The student competition is really exciting because it gives them a chance to see the power of what it is that they can do and the things that they can affect in the research that they do or in the, the jobs they pursue as they go forward. So the students have been engaged in this for the last 24, 48 hours and they're here almost, you know, straight through the night working on their particular project. So, so one of the things that, that, you know, the nation or that multiple nations are looking at is, is the STEM program. And in addition to that, how do we get diversity into the STEM programs? So for here at the competition, we've got Purdue University, which is an all-female team, for a first for the competition. The student cluster competition started here on Monday night, and it's going all the way through Wednesday, and the winners are going to be announced on Thursday. We're engaging with students at an earlier level, and this is giving them a chance to really see the power of what technology can do to advance science. And so in the past, we would engage more with graduate students or with, with researchers, and this is a chance to start to engage them at a much earlier time in their, in their journey. So in addition to using the GPUs that we've, uh, that we've donated for them to use as part of the student competition, they then get to keep these GPUs, and we've talked to some of the professors that are sponsoring these, and they are able to use them in teaching multiple other students and giving access to GPUs and access to this kind of computing to a lot of other students way beyond just this competition. So we're entering a whole new time. It's almost like starting over. Um, so all the things, many of us have been in this technology industry for many years, and then there's all the new people that are joining it, and it's really new frontiers. We're doing things that have never been done, things that people didn't even think about doing before, and we're able to do them now with this technology.